Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to talk about minimal transaction fees within Cardano, um, specifically when dealing with ADA, whether you're sending ADA from one wallet to another or whatever transactions you may be playing with with inside the ecosystem. Once again, cryptocurrencies can be sent from one person to another person or one business to another business and there are fees involved with sending sums of money regardless of which cryptocurrency you're in. A lot there are some cryptocurrencies that tout fee-less transactions, but the fees are being paid elsewhere. Someone is has to pay in order for these transactions to run. Just like when you're thinking about credit cards, every time you swipe your credit card, it's not a free transaction. It's usually the merchant that's paying and it's upwards to 3%. Depending on what you're working with, how large of a business you are, you can negotiate. Can go down slightly like 0.1 or 0.2 or maybe even 2% for those large corporations like Walmart is probably paying a lot less for their transaction fees on credit card processing than a small business. That's when you go like that's when you see when you go into smaller mom and pop shops, whether it's mom and pop stores or mom and pop restaurants, they usually have a minimum for credit card processing. So like they say, um, you have to spend a minimum of $10 in order to use your credit card. It's because the fees are expensive. It's the merchant that's paying the fees and they, they hide it from the end consumer. So in a cryptocurrency ecosystem, we have financial autonomy. So we pay the fees. It's not passed on to a third party. But at the same time, cryptocurrencies, especially Cardano, they're decentralized. They're moving towards decentralization. There's not a party in charge. So it's not like we're paying Visa or paying MasterCard or we're paying any of these entities overhead in order to run the transactions. We are paying to stay and live with inside the ecosystem. We are paying to exist within the ledger. We are paying to be validated with whatever cryptocurrency you're using. And there are cryptocurrencies out there that are touting fee-less transactions, but at the same time, it's the company themselves that are allowing this to happen. There's no such thing as free transactions. Transactions burn electricity. They have to be stored somewhere. They have to be validated by someone. There is an energy output. So wherever the cost is, you just have to figure out where the cost is in the chain, in, in the long line, the chain of processing. There's no such thing as just completely free. Energy in equals energy out. There's no such thing as perpetual payment processing machine. This, it doesn't exist, just like perpetual motion doesn't exist. Um, it's, this, is, this is all theoretical when you're, when you're dealing with this. So when we're talking about minimal transaction fees in Cardano, there's a formula to follow and it's called A plus B times the size of the actual transaction. So that's the number of bytes. And A is a special constant, B is a special constant, and um, the size, the size is the number of bytes within that particular transaction. And um, A, the, the special constant A represents 0.155381 ADA. And the special constant B is 0.00004346 ADA per byte. And the size is the size of the transactions in bytes. So I took the size in bytes uh, from Ruslan's data, Ruslan's calculator data, and multiplied that by um, B and added A and the the fee right now the minimum transaction fee based upon the bytes per transaction right now is 0.17550826 ADA and a current according to the current market cap value on coin market cap that would be around 1.8 cents US so it's a it costs around almost two cents per transaction so you could be sending um, a million ADA or you can be sending a thousand ADA depending on the byte usage it's going to be around two cents to send that transaction so um, once again you you could be sending one dollar or you could be sending one million dollars it's going to be around that range and things can change over time as they scale if the byte usage increases over time or it decreases over time or the special constant decreases over time then the transaction cost will decrease or increase appropriately. But all of these things are going to be very gradual and the system is always going to maintain low fees. These are a lot less, the fees are 
negligible when you compare them to traditional banking fees of sending money from party A to party B. So one of the other things you may ask, why is there even a constant? This is to prevent DDoS attacks. So DDoS attacks are basically spam attacks against the network. If you have a fee-less network, um, you tap very, very low fees, then an attacker can go and come and spam the network. Like they could produce millions and billions of transactions. Like they could basically be sending one ADA back and forth a ton of times. If there are no fees, you know, that energy usage has to be usurped by some party. The ledgers are gonna get clogged. There could be multi-parties spamming the network. So you have to make sure you have certain parameters in place to prevent these kind of things to happen. So if someone decides to spam the network, it's gonna get rather expensive for them. And they're not gonna be able to spam 100 million transactions in an Epic. And this is just currently with that current TPS that we have. Um, they're not gonna be able to spam 100 million transactions per second if we are implementing minimal transaction fees. And we are going to grow. Our TPS is going to increase over time. So that 100 million per epic is, is, is dynamic. So it's going to increase over time. And this is why this is very important. You need to have minimal transaction fees within a cryptocurrency. Otherwise, chaos ensues. Chaos ensues because regardless of what you think, these, these transactions aren't being generated out of thin air. They use power, they use electricity, they use data, they use resources. So for resources to be considered, for something to be considered free, you must not be using any resources whatsoever. What do you think about these minimal transaction fees? Do you think that right now at a current transaction fee of 1.8 cents, is that hefty? Does that need to be reduced? What can we do to prevent DDoS attacks in the future? I think that Cardano is proofing themselves well. Um, and where do you see this going from now? What, do you, what are your thoughts? Um, I'll put the links below and thank you so much for your support. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, thank you.